Hey everyone, today for art class we're going to be making rock bugs, a cute and creative art project. Here's what you'll need today. One coffee filter, some black construction paper, a plate to put your paint on, four googly eyes, two for each bug, some newspaper, two large flat rocks, two paint brushes, a bigger one to paint the body and a smaller one for detail, one pipe cleaner, some scissors, some white liquid glue, some red paint, black paint, yellow paint, and a stickier glue, such as tacky glue. Let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is put down my newspaper to protect my table from paint and glue. The first bug I'm going to show you how to make today is a ladybug. So I'm going to go ahead and put some red paint onto my paint plate. I'm then going to use the bigger brush and paint the entire top part of the rock. Once it's covered, I'm going to let it dry. When the red paint is dry, I'm going to add a little bit of black paint to my paint plate. Then using the smaller paintbrush, I'm going to paint a black line about a third of the way across the rock. I'm then going to fill it in with black and that's going to be the head of my ladybug. I'm now going to draw a line from the head down the back of the ladybug to create two distinct wings. You want to try to make the line as even and as straight as possible. Once that's done, you want to let all the black paint dry. When it's dry, it's time to add the googly eyes. I'm going to put a little bit of white liquid glue on the back of each eye, place it where I want, and press down gently to secure it. It's now time to give the ladybug its classic spots. I'm going to use my scissors and cut out some circle-like shapes from the black construction paper. Since it's hard to cut a circle the first time, I'm going to go ahead and shape it more after I cut it out of the bigger piece of construction paper. I'm going to go ahead and do this three more times so I have a total of four spots for my ladybug. I'm now going to attach the spots with some white liquid glue. I'm going to put a little bit of white liquid glue where I want my spots and then put the spots on and gently press down to secure them. When that's done, I'm going to let the spots dry completely. For the next bug, I'm going to show you how to make a bee. So the first thing I'm going to do is put some yellow paint onto my paint plate and take my big paintbrush and paint the entire top part of the rock. When the yellow paint is dry, I'm going to use the small paintbrush to create the head and the stripes of the bee. I'm going to draw a line about a quarter way across the rock and fill it in for the head. I'm then going to paint the classic bee stripes down the rest of the rock. When the black paint is dry, I'm going to go ahead and add the googly eyes. I'm going to put a little bit of white liquid glue on the back of each eye, place it where I want, and gently press down to secure it.
I'm now going to make some wings for the bee. I'm going to take the pipe cleaner and fold both ends in until they meet in the middle. I'm then going to fold the ends around the middle so it stays in shape. I'm then going to use some tacky glue to secure the pipe cleaner to the rock. I'm going to put a pretty good amount of tacky glue where I twisted the pipe cleaners together. I'm then going to place my bug on top of the tacky glue and press down firmly to secure it. Once the rock is attached to the pipe cleaner, you want to let it dry completely. When the rock and pipe cleaner are dry, we're going to add the last detail to the bee using a coffee filter. I'm first going to flatten out the coffee filter and then add some tacky glue to the bottom of the pipe cleaner. I'm going to make sure to get tacky glue along the whole bottom of the pipe cleaner. I'm then going to flip it over and press it securely against the coffee filter. Now you want to let this dry completely, and when it's dry, you can go ahead and cut the excess coffee filter from around the pipe cleaner. So the end result will look like the bee has solid wings. And there we have the finished rock bugs. You can use them as a tabletop decoration or even stick them in some plants. I hope you have fun making your own rock bugs, and thanks for watching!